Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo. Um, I've been meaning to literally round up a few troopers and um, do a bit of an overview of um, some Kota Biki Art of X Star Wars pieces. Um, now, I haven't got as many as I did have. I went a bit wild at one point and bought too many. <laughs> um, but um, I kind of just rolled back a bit to what I like about Star Wars. Now, I think I've mentioned it in the... Um, Gentle Giant Clone Trooper video, but what I basically I like about Star Wars, um, you know, I didn't really grow up with the original trilogy whatsoever. Sorry, I was more of a prequel kid, um, but you know, I just like them as movies. Um, but what really um, set in stone for Star Wars for me and got me really going on Star Wars was um, Knights of the Old Republic on the Xbox. Um, it really kick-started my love of Star Wars and that sort of, um, you know, that mythology. Um, and then the Clone Wars TV show and Rebels and the comic books. Comic books, um, especially when Dark Horse were doing them, were, um, you know, basically my bread and butter. So I like, mainly what I like about Star Wars are Jedi, Sith, Bounty Hunters and Clone Troopers. So I figured, you know, um, Kota Biki have been doing so many Star Wars statues for such a long time that we would um, take a look at some of them um, and why not start with the clones so these as you can see the four um, statues in front now are basically the four statues that um, Kota Biki are dead um, obviously we've got the um, phase one trooper here um, from Attack of the Clones and then Cody Five of First, Phase Two Trooper, for, and um, Commandable Eye from um, Revenge of the Sith. Um, now, this is obviously a variant, it's a captain, and um, they also did the lieutenant, and they also did just the plain white one. And then um, the Five of First, they actually did the um, Shock Trooper, and they did the Utapau Trooper which matches up lovely with Cody. So I am probably, I don't want to double up. I like my captain, I like the red on this, but I probably will get the Utapau version of the 5 face because he has also got a different base. Um, so what we're going to do guys, now Cody's the main focus of this review because I do think it's an exceptional statue, but before we get to Cody, I'm just going to run through the other three quickly, a minute or so on each, and then we'll go over Cody. And Cody's got a couple of fantastic swap outs, and it's definitely one of Kota Bikita's best. So stick around, and we'll um, start working our way through. So we'll start off, guys, with the Attack of the Clones Trooper. Um, obviously, in the Phase 1 helmet and the Phase 1 look, I do probably prefer the Phase 2 look, but I, I've got a weird fascination as well, still with the Phase 1 helm. Um, I think this statue is um, pretty exceptional. Now, if you don't know the Artifacts line, they're actually all 1-7 scale, and they're all completely made out of PVC with plastic bases. So, you know, you're not talking high-quality polystone, or, you know, you're not gaining a lot of weight from these guys, although they've got enough heft to them. But, um, you know, what you're getting here is a pretty affordable, decent-sized, pretty accurate and um, decent clone trooper and I think they're some of Koto's best um, Star Wars pieces now they have done pieces from every film um, you know and I can't recommend that you go for any of the um, characters with faces <laughs> faces are likeness is a big problem now none of the faces are badly painted or badly done actually the Han Solo which is quite an old piece is actually quite well done um, but majority of them aren't great. Now, what is great is the um, Obi -Wan, Ken Obi Wan Kenobi, but the um, Episode Four version. But they did a new version of it, so it's got a light up saber and switch out hood and stuff. That's really nicely done. And um, the newest statues that they ended up doing in the line, which are you know from Revenge of the Sith afterwards, um, look a lot nicer than the earlier stuff. Um, so I think if, if you are looking for picking some of these up, try and find reviews, try and find pictures. Um, some of the earlier statues don't look great, especially like the Attack of the Clones, Anakin and Obi-Wan. Um, the Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan is not great either. But things like the Bob Fetts are brilliant, the Clones are brilliant, the Stormtrooper, the Scout Trooper, the Snow Trooper, all fantastic, fantastic pieces. Um, but anyway, back to the Clone Trooper. The pose on this guy is just brilliant. Um, I've never seen a pose pretty much like it on any, many statues. If you think of any statue, not none of them are in this this crouching 
I love the kneel. You can definitely find statues where they're kneeling, but I just love the the the, the foot being off at the angle, the gun up high. I love his hand positioning. I love that he's literally looking around the corner and the hand signals like literally like he should have other troops behind him and he's literally saying wait. The gun up looks brilliant as well. Um, all these do come off the bases and you can hear that plasticky. Let's get him off. And you can see there is no peg so if you want to just put him on the on some on a you know next to any other figures you can and they do match up quite well with one set uh, one six pieces but you will notice the size of the heads in particular you know I, you can mix and match brad you know i think on a shelf one sevens together and then one sixes together you can look at them all and think oh they're all similar scale but if you put a one seven next to a one six they do look a little bit small let's get them back on the base and, oh, before we do, the base is just basically rock textures. It's really, it's obviously um, nicely painted up. Nice bit of red in there. Um, it's just a really simple, well executed statue, and probably one of the one of not many, but one of the best. I mean, off the top of my head, obviously we've got the clone trip that I reviewed the Dental Giant one. There's the um, premium format, and then we've got like the bits and bobs from Atticus. I don't think there's anything else on one seven scale. So the best one seven scale clone trooper statue. Let's move on to the um, five oh first. So here we go, guys. So moving on to Revenge of the Sith. This is the five oh first. Um, obviously Anakin's um, squad. Um, and here again, I've owned this statue a few times actually, um, and I've owned the variants. I might pick up the variants again because I do just think it's a really, really, really cool statue. Um, the only real problem is on the base, which we'll come to in a moment. Um, but overall, great pose. I love the holding of the larger rifle, um, just casually while aiming off of the small one. Looks great. Um, this guy you can pick up for about 50 quid, and he's really, really worth it. The shot trooper variant you might get for a bit more. The Uta Power variant is, was an exclusive, and I think is actually numbered. Um, so that one goes for a bit more. Um, I do want to pick up the Uter Power version just to go with Cody. Um, like all artifacts pieces, you know, they just come away. So you can literally pull off bits. They come unassembled. He does come off the base like the. Uh, um, Attack of Clones one. Here's the base. We've got bigger. Um, nice base. I suppose this is supposed to be a crew scant when they invade the temple um, but the problem is, what I've always had a problem with is this rock I don't know why it's like that it's like they've stuck it on the wrong way why is that like that? <laughs> I don't know and I think they're all like that as well I will look that up afterwards but I'm pretty sure they're all like that you know I can understand that because that's supposed to be going to the back but what's that supposed to be? is that supposed to be like marble? wait to come away from a column or is that supposed to be I don't know. It's not highly noticeable, guys. I, st I still think it's one of the best clone trooper statues ever made. <laughs> I really do. Um, there's not a lot of them about, but um, I just think this one's really, 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 really well done. You know, it's simple, effective, and like I say, for the price, it's great. It's got a really nice presence because of him holding the gun out. It's pretty wide. And all these displayed together just look great. Let's move on to Commander Bly. So we've also got Commander Bly. Now, weirdly, they did this, and I don't know why. Um, Bly, if you don't know, is the commander who's with Alice Corey and um, kills here when Order 66 happens. So you do see him in the film very, very briefly. Obviously, um, he's in um, Clone Wars more. And um, this one does come out with a, come with a switch out head. And obviously, you've got Bly's um, signature and very well-known look with the visor down. Um, but you do get a regular version without the visor as well. Um, double pistols, he's got the skirt on. Um, easily be customised into a Rex, I'd imagine. A phase two Rex would probably be easily done. And then we've even got more of an environmental base here, a super battle droid body on it. Again, very simple, very nicely done. This guy runs anywhere between about 
75 to 150 quid now a lot of these will have broken um pegs so you can get them cheaper with a broken peg um i think it's just the way he stands i mean mine you know isn't great um but he just but he's just hanging on i'll probably end up have to, having to glue him um but to be honest i'd save the money and just glue him anyway because um the amount of these i've seen that where the pegs just break even new ones the pegs just break and they just weren't thick enough or um, robust enough but as you can see paint wise detail wise just as good as the 501st just as good as the rest of the line and um, dual pistols very very cool i really really hope and i wish that um, koto would do a few more i mean rex is you know at this point with clone war season 7 just finishing you know rex is cemented as one of the best in my in my opinion best characters in, in the star wars universe i think a lot of people agree i think um koto would be foolish not to jump on that same with ahsoka as well i'd love to see an ahsoka again as long as um koto are doing aliens or clones or robots or masks we're good um let's move on to the main event which is um commander cody so as i was saying cody is a lot lot later release and you can really feel where koto stepped up um obviously you've got cody in a brilliant pose you know and a really really good pose and you'll see how um, modular it is once we get to the swap out and we've got this great rocky base again plastic and um, but we've got this battle droid body and arm on there and then obviously in cody's hand we've got the detached head um and then just working around him let's get a little bit closer on cody you know all the belts we've got obi-wan's lightsaber because obviously he drops it but you can see all the armor details brilliant detail on the helmet armor gun as you can see, i've got a bit of a bent aerial there as you can see and um, you do get a couple of those in the box so i do need to get the box down and get the other one out that's just happened over time you also get um, the aerial on the side of his head he is detachable you get a couple of them which is nice of koto and this guy runs at about 150 to 250 and um, he's a more of a rare piece i think he's more of a sought after piece none of these pieces are numbered but i think cody is just such a you know everyone likes cody he's a great character i mean obviously very prominent in revenge of the sith but he's even better when you watch clone wars um you know so i think he's well loved now what we can do with this piece is completely like i say i think completely change the way it looks and the feel it gives so we've got a few pieces here i'm going to try and do most of it on camera guys but some of the pieces are incredibly tough so what we can do first is we can take this arm off and then let me just find where this detaches i think it's there there we go so that piece comes off now because obviously he had his gun up like that and then we we've got this piece which is um slightly angled differently just let me do this in front of myself so i can see so this just snaps in nice tight fit and now we put this arm back in and as you can see it's going in at a different angle now so it's lower against the chest still looks great in this pose but what we can do next is is take the head off which the head is so tight guys i'm going to pause this well that was a struggle <laughs> now not only does the head come off as you can see but the piece under the head comes off which is this piece so before we had him you know looking up out but if we swap out this piece for this piece which i'll attempt to put on on camera let's see if we can get the head on first which should be something like that the head will go on i'm gonna pause guys of course the minute i paused it plugged straight in so now we've got gun at the chest head looking down 
And then what we can also do is pop this arm off, pop it off simply, he says. Um, and what would a Commander Cody statue be without Order 66? Now I say that, but Sideshow didn't do that with their premium formats, but they did do it with their legendary scale bust. So we've got a little Sidious hologram, and in here we've got batteries. We've got a tiny switch here, which we'll click, and we get this brilliant light up, even with all the lights, and you can see how bright that is. And then we just need to plug that back in, and suddenly we get this, which is just perfect. I adore this statue, not only is it a great um, character, I do love the character, but the statue is just so well done. I think both poses look brilliant. I'd be tempted, if I was that sort of person, to buy another one so I could display both poses. Um, it's just a great, you know, display of how switch outs can completely change the look of a statue. So let's light it back up. You know, we've suddenly got this. Um, oh, what we can do as well, because it's order 66, is by this point, obviously, he has give Obi Wan his lightsaber back, and we can just pull that out. So, to faithfully, you know, if you want to be recreating that scene more faithfully, and there we go, guys. It's a great, great piece, and I highly recommend it. If you'd like a smaller, Cody statue. Obviously these Koto um, statues look fantastic with the gentle drying bus, which is kind of what I do. Kind of mix and match. And when I get around to doing a collection video, you'll see exactly what I, how I display and what I've gone for. Um, but yeah, there we go guys. Order 66 has been executed. Cody turns into a bad guy. And all us clone trooper fans sob <laughs> but yeah there you go guys i just wanted to give you a quick overview and a little review of the cody statue which i do think is one of the one of cody bikini's best and probably one of my favorite star wars statues ever made and i have been through quite a lot of them guys um, over the time um so yeah and um, thanks for watching guys and i will be back very very soon bye